Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to TPGF, Turning Point Global Family Daily Devotional Prayer and Prophetic Altar. Wake up to this altar daily to do your daily devotion. Use Turning Point after listening and praying with Turning Point Audio. Then read from the Turning Point Daily Devotional Booklet, also authored by me, published monthly, available both in hard and soft copies. TPGF members all over the world subscribe online with a token. It shall be sent to your phone for your daily engagement. For subscription and subscription renewal, chat with Denny on plus two three four eight zero double five one double zero five one zero. Do so today. Welcome also to Monday, day twenty five in March twenty twenty four. March is gradually winding down, but before it finally goes, your expectations for the month shall be fully delivered. Please open your hand and heart for the day's prayers and prophetic impartational blessings. Be responding with Amen. I receive it. I declare this week to be the week for you, the week of your divine turnaround, the week of arrival of your long-awaited result, license, certificate, and approval, the week of your good news. Something good is loading for you and your family this week. It shall be fully delivered. Everyone trusting God for good says, this week you shall experience it. You are trusting God for increase. Get ready. It is coming. I'm hearing attack. Attack. I'm hearing pray against attack. Someone is under attack. Someone's health. Someone's business. Someone's finances. Someone's marriage, someone's children, someone's job and career. If I say someone, they could be in hundreds, even in thousands. Which aspect of your life or your children's life is also under attack? You know what is happening? It's not ordinary. You know I'm describing your situation. Lay your right hand on your body. If it is your situation I'm describing, let me pray. You are set free from this attack. Whether it is on your health, your body, spiritual attack, physical attack, mental attack, financial attack, marriage attack, attacks come to an end today. Be set free and remain free forever in Jesus' name. And who is this? You have lost momentum. Your speed has drastically reduced the rate of your getting result, your impact, your positive effect has come down. I want to pray for you. Lost momentum, I'm hearing. If that is you, lay your hand on your heart, I mean your chest, gently. I prophesy, regain your momentum. Get back your speed. Receive divine acceleration on your effort. I call for helpers, destiny helpers, for all my listeners today. Your life shall not lack help and assistance. I prophesy to all listeners, God shall help you beyond your expectations. All limitations around you are hereby broken to pieces. No more limitations. Expand to the right and to the left. What is that one thing or two? Two things that gives you concern right now, giving you serious concern. Your mind is always on them. What are those things? Say it to God quietly in prayer before I pray for you. Say, God, I have concern over this over this and over that. Say it to God in prayers, quietly. Mention those concerns by name. Say it again and again to God. Let me pray. I prophesy, may God take over and take away that concern from you. Within 72 hours, you will see your desired change or changes in Jesus' name. Believe it, you will have testimonies. March 25 celebrants, your body prayers. Be blessed. May your new age be blessed. God shall add days to your years and years to your days. In Jesus' name. Happy birthday. Listeners, welcome to a whole week of intentional, intense, fervent, and personal prayers. James chapter 5 verse 16 says, The effectual fervent prayers of the righteous avails much. A translation says, It is mighty in its outward manifestations. No one can pray for you better than you can pray for yourself. We are using God's word to pray to God. That is the correct model for prayers. Please follow that example. As I lead in prayers, pray it on yourself. 
pray it by yourself. Pray it as energetically as you can, as loud as you can. If we are you are does not permit such energetic prayers, then listen to the prayers all right. But when you get back to your house, to your room, to your car, anywhere that is more conducive, play the message back and pray that prayer all over again. You can scroll back even to previous editions of prayers and pray them. They will work wonders. First prayers today is from Isaiah chapter 45 verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the land with an everlasting salvation. You shall not be ashamed nor confounded. Let's turn this into prayer. Pray it with energy. Say, O oh Lord, mention your name. Say, I, Femi, Emmanuel, mention your own name. Shall be saved in all situations. My family shall be saved. My sons and daughters shall be saved in all the challenges, in all the misfortunes, on all the insecurities in the environment. I shall be saved. No evil shall come near my borders. I shall be saved spiritually, physically, mentally, materially, and financially. I shall be saved. I shall not be negatively affected. I will not be consumed. Shame shall be far from me. I will not know shame. I will not know insult. I will not know ridicule and embarrassment all the days of my life. My life shall attract honor, respect, and ovation in Jesus' name. Say amen. Yes, so shall it be. You shall not be confounded in any way. Next, we are praying with Isaiah chapter 19, verse 17. And the land of Judah shall be a terror unto Egypt. Everyone that, men, that make mention thereof shall be afraid in himself. Yes, pray fervently and say, O oh God, make me a terror to my enemies. Anyone, anywhere that have evil intention against me shall be struck with fear. As the fear of the Jews came upon the Egyptians and the Philistines, let my fear come upon those who hate me. Any mention of my name, my family's name, my children's name for evil shall spark fire in their midst. Confusion shall break forth in the camp of my enemies. I fear no one. I am the fear that fear must fear. Put my fear in the mind of those planning against me in Jesus' name. Yes, I prophesy. They shall become weak and fail. Anyone working against you and your interest. Now, we are going to pray with this. Mark chapter 4 verse 39. And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. Pray and say, in the name of Jesus, I command every storm in my life, in my family, in my body, in my, in my business, in my environment. Peace be still. All storms calm down. I rebuke all evil winds blowing over my life and things, blowing over my nation and my country. Evil winds seized. Evil winds blow away. I prophesy, let there be peace on all my borders and in my territory. Peace, rain, rain in my body. No sickness, no pain. Rain in my home, rain in my family. No crisis, no fight. Rain in my work, rain on my job, my career and business. Let there be progress. Rain in my country. Give us peaceful atmosphere to live and serve you. In Jesus' name, say amen. Yes, I prophesy the rest of your life. You shall enjoy peace, calmness, serenity, progress, and profit. In Jesus' name. Let's take one more. Let's use Luke chapter 4, verse 40. When the evening came and the sun was setting, they brought them that were sick with diverse diseases. They brought them to him, and he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them all. Mm, he healed them all. Jesus healed them all. Do this. Touch any part of your body where you are experiencing pain now. 
Check your entire body. Anywhere you have pain, lay hand. If hand cannot be laid, touch your forehead gently. And if you have any sick one around you, bring them closer. Or their photograph, their clothing, or any of their items at home. Lay hand or hold it up and say, Jesus Christ the healer, heal me now. If you are praying for someone, mention the name of that person. No matter where they are, they will be healed. Say, heal me now. If you know, know the name of the sickness, mention it. Like, heal me of fever. Heal me of diabetes. Heal me of kidney stone. Heal me of prostate ca- uh, challenge. Heal me of tumor. Mention the name of that sickness and be saying, heal me now. Lay your hand on me now. I receive my healing in the name of Jesus. Pray it well. Pray it well. Say, I receive my healing now. Say, you heal them then. Now, heal me now. You heal them then. Heal me now. Heal my son. Heal my daughter. Heal my husband. Heal my wife. Mention their names. Say, I receive my total healing now. In Jesus' name. Say, I am healed. Say, I am healed. Mention the names of the people you pray for and say, so, 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 you are healed. In Jesus' name. Yes. All you are healed. Be healed, and you are healed now. Check it up. Try what you couldn't do before. Something has just happened. You are healed. We shall take it up from here tomorrow. You can pray these prayers again and again. Then forward it to all on your contact, your children, your spouse, and others. Let them pray the same prayers. They will see the hand of God. They will be happy. There shall be no live broadcast this evening. I'm participating in the conference till the night. We shall do so on Friday. Month is ending. So if you have monthly title, battle seed, thanksgiving seed, partnership commitment seed, vows, and the seed of 3333, we are sowing this third month of the year. Please sow it as soon as you receive your pay. Businessmen and businesswomen, put your business outfit on tighten as you have been taught. If you want us to send you the commission's account, including the PayPal information of Paying your tithe and transmitting your seed from all over the world, wherever you are, send a chat message or please send me the commission's account to plus two three four eight zero nine seven eight nine four thousand. That account only. Don't send money to any personal account. Don't answer them. They are frauds. Block them. I speak to everyone's life. You are blessed. The grace of God be multiplied in your life. The power of God see you through this week. In Jesus' name. Ah, what God cannot do does not exist. God can do all things. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. TPGF, truly blessed. Bye.